but we need to plan for traveling and we need to go traveling purposely. It sounds weird. So, which means that traveling is not just about moving from one location to another. It has some meaning in your mind. When we was very, very little, actually we are traveling every day and every moment or every moment. We travel with our open minded. Because when we are young, we open our eyes and to see the world. We always learn things from the from this kind of without any bias and uh, any stereotype. But when we grow older, we start to have some concepts, start to have some bias in your own mind, which helps us to understand the world and to deal with things more easier. But travel gives us another chance to go back to your very, very young age, when you are very, very little. It gave us another chance to open eyes like an uh, infant and uh, you can smell the true smell of the world without any stereotype. So there are some benefits of traveling. The first one is get some cultures and get some perspective. This is in Malaysia and uh, this was this summer I went to Malaysia by really cheap plane ticket. And uh, this is uh, their aboriginals. We always think the world should be like this. We always think everybody maybe eats like chopsy. Use chopsy to eat be before we go out to see the world, before we see the media. We might think that everybody will be like us. But if you go to different places and see different culture, you will see the world is not like that. There are so many different cultures and there are so many different perspectives. This in Malaysia, they are aboriginals. They live in, together like a hundred people in one very, very long house. And they have small rooms in a row, but there is a very big hole just in front of that. They live together in like hundred people and they just eat together, they drink together and they have fun together. But they have their private room just in the back. It's really amazing. It's like a kind of dorm, but if you never see that, you never know. Some people live like this. So by going to traveling, you might get some culture and have more perspective. Then when you see things, you probably won't see, see the things with one aspect. Okay, there are some, another, the second, second uh, benefit is traveling helps you encounter compassion. These are chickens. We eat almost almost of it every day. But uh, when you see this view in your sight, you might think the meal on your table, they come from here and they look really pity. You can, you can see their eyes and they will be killed and put on your put put to your put to your desk and let you eat. But not only this, if you go to Southeast Asia, if you go to uh, Africa, if you've never been there, you probably heard about there are many wars over there, but if you've never been there, you probably can ever never imagine how is their life. They maybe have a gunshot every day. They maybe just fight with a little boy with a very old man. They, need to, they also need to have a gun. If you never see that, you never know. So, by traveling, you will have some compassion when you see the world and when you see the news and you will have the sympathy with them. And uh, there, are, there is another benefit of traveling. Traveling also can help you to encounter who you truly are. Not very everybody are very lucky like Nick can meet their, com meet their patient when they are really little. Somebody don't know what they really want to do, what their patients are, until now or even like 40, 50s, like me. So I don't understand what I really want to do and uh, what what I really yeah what I really care. So by traveling, you might try many different things. You never try, or you you probably won't want to try because you think that probably you don't like it. But by traveling, you have to try something you haven't tried before, 
then you probably will find that, oh, maybe this is my passion. So by traveling, it's also a way we explore ourselves and we might see who we truly are. Okay, so I will say that the world is like a book and uh, those who do not travel read only one page. Because you only see, if you live in Taiwan, you only see what Taiwan is happening. And you don't know what is the other side of the world. Although you read the last book, but you never see that, it's all about knowledge. It's not your experience. So, traveling is like a way to read the world. I encourage all of you to go traveling. Thank you. Show me slide you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And we don't have that much time, so maybe just 30 seconds for us to finish our feedback.